What is going on, guys? Wise and here coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was our smoke and hot week two matchup versus USA Adults CWL. Uh, awesome, we came away with the victory, but this war, this was one of those wars came right down to the wire. Um, USA Adults had a couple, especially their 12v12 was like a 98% near miss at the end and uh yeah we came away with the victory so uh awesome job uh we persisted and uh are two and all in the season i love it uh i've got a lot of attacks i want to show so i'm just really going to jump right into this um after real quickly just showing you some of this we uh 99.32 percent total destruction for the usa adults even though they only even though they left three bases on the board we only left one base on the board but that's 68 percent Got my daughter here beside me eating Timbits. <laughs> yeah, I know. You want to say hi, Lily? No? Okay. <clears throat> Anyhow, so um, again, end of the day, it was an awesome war. Uh, really proud of, my, proud of the guys and girls. So let's just check this out. We're going to jump down to number 20. Neon Waves, our fearless leader, putting up a good score this uh, war. Just basically going to bring this wall of giants, wall of bowlers, and wall of witches against this very low tier uh, Town Hall 10. And all these level 2 Inferno, level 1 Inferno Tower over there. Expos are upgraded, um, but you know, very, very low tier Town Hall 10. So getting the free spell down over that Inferno, letting things work in, letting that siege work in. Down goes the rage. Everything into the core. Poison goes down, take care of the clan castle. And you're going to see the queen lock onto that dragon. Good stuff. Down goes the dragon. Siege is going to just continue its way through the center of the base. Down goes that defensive archer queen. This uh, inferno just sort of uh, is stray for a little bit, taking stuff out, but it doesn't really matter. Queen steps in, takes care of business. Finally, the siege breaks up there. Rage goes down over the siege. Let those bowlers start smashing stuff. <clears throat> just really needs to take care of the 12 o'clock and 3 o'clock compartments. Jump spell goes down to unlock both of those compartments. Queen jumps in, takes care of the Wiz Tower. That's the only threat for these bowlers and stuff on the outside. There's only a few cannons and a Tesla to go. Tons of troops all over the base. Wits doing work. The three star is imminent at this point. Bam, bam, bam. Nicely done, Neon. Fourteen giants, love it. All right, and next up on the block is Manny going in on number eighteen. Hello. Uh, so Manny brought twenty-five minutes. Oh, it was the golem. I thought that was interesting about this. Brings this cold-blooded golem here going in at uh, three o'clock. A little bit of funneling troops going in. Queen he, uh, sends up over here to create the funnel and sort of suicide. Uh, reason for that is there is a hound in the clan castle, and he does not want the hound to burst, and I think he's pretty successful at this. <laughs> Sorry, I get a little bit of distraction here from my uh, my co-chair uh, to my left here. <clears throat> so free spell goes down right in front of the clan castle as well. Gets that balloon frozen in place. That balloon's really going to get poisoned because he doesn't have the queen to take out the balloon. So, oh, thank you for the Timbit. Mm -mm -mm. So, great spells down, everything getting mopped up, this core is getting gutted, and he's now created this V-shape. Excuse me. Delicious Timbit. Um, but what I'm seeing is, um, not even a V-shape, really, just a direct path across. There's a few balloons headed in, uh, has this Lava Hound he's going to send in uh, to this one air defense remaining. A few balloons on each defense, down goes the haste. <clears throat> just going to start it slowly, start just working this uh, clockwise rotation around the base. Does have all these wizard towers on the back end. He's got a little bit of, a little bit to worry about, but keep in mind, he's got a heal, a heal for that and two haste. So you're going to see how this works. He's got so many balloons. <clears throat> in comes that uh, second haste. Still a ton of balloons. Got to just get through these wizard towers. You're going to see this heal spell. One more haste and then a heal spell go down over these last couple uh, wizard towers. And this base is G. G. Manny just absolutely crushes it. See this hound here still unburst. Beautiful. Exactly what he wanted. A little bit of cleanup now. And that's how she's done. Three in the bag for Manny. Nice job.
Right, next up, number 16. You know, second hit, I believe, with uh, putting up the six pack. This one a little more challenging than that first one she went in against. Uh, but you're going to see this little bit of a queen walk. A couple witches go down on the, this side with a couple more healers. Okay, basically it's going to try and create this funnel on either side. Send the seed straight down from 12 o'clock. Get into that core. Take care of the heroes. Take care of the infernos. Uh, does serious work. Siege goes in. Everything's going in. <clears throat> Rage spell goes down. Got to get through that king. Uh, now, because this is open, uh, her queen, or did you, I don't know if anyone saw that king. The king, like, locked onto that bomb tower. I thought that was really strange when I watched this replay at first. He was up here and just beelines it down to that bomb tower. I don't know what he needed. Uh, she does lose the uh, her queen here as well. Doesn't quite get that those free spells down in just in time. But it doesn't really matter. That siege is still going. Siege is going to break into this expo compartment. A couple more freezes just to... Hold those Inferno Towers up to uh, give them the bowlers time to take them down. And Siege finally bursts. Out come more bowlers. And really, there's only this sort of bottom 6 o'clock section to take care of. The King walking ended up being a good thing because it's just going to continue to walk down. Do some tanking along with these skeletons. Take care of these defenses. As you can see, there's so many witches left. A couple healers left. Uh, I think this Hound does... No, it doesn't burst. Watched so many replays over the last uh, couple nights. Maybe it does, like the last second. Yeah, it did, see? <laughs> Not fast enough, though. Neon, putting up a six-pack. Nice job. Mm, I actually did part of this recap last night, and my little girl, there she is. <laughs> uh, she wasn't feeling good and uh, was stuffed up, so couldn't sleep. So I uh, I called it quits and figured uh, I should finish it off this morning. So uh, redoing a lot of these. Here's Erickson. Actually, I've been learning a lot from Erickson. Um, he watches a lot of content uh, showing his different styles of attack. So this one, he's using seven dragons with 11 balloons with a hound. Uh, I believe he's got balloons in his blimp as well and the zap quake. So you see the value on the zap quake. Uh, drops the uh, two lightnings and the earthquake. Down go two air defenses, uh, an archer tower, and almost all of a wizard tower. He really just spit on that wizard tower. So he goes ahead, drops the uh, baby D on this side. Idea with this is he needs to get a funnel created now at 12. Baby D is going to create the funnel at 3. And he's going to let the dragon sort of walk into the base from uh, basically like the 2 2 30, or I guess 1 1 30 position. One more dragon to sort of help make sure that funnel's created. He doesn't want the dragons going around. So this dragon is going to start working up into the into the middle. You're going to see the same thing from the other side. Hero's doing their job over there, just sort of creating the funnel on this side. Uh, idea here now is he wants to get the dragons into this core. He wants to get one of these Inferno Towers taken care of. He obviously wants to get that uh, defensive Archer Queen taken care of. Um, and as much as he can, you're going to see, I believe, as soon as the Clan Castle troops come flying out, lock onto the dragons, it's when he sends in his Lalo. Uh, only has the one Lava Hound for both of these air defenses. <clears throat> but more than enough balloons to take care of it. So here it comes. Here comes that Lava Hound. Right into the Sweeper. No big deal. Few balloons on each defense. Does have two haste spells, and then in comes the blimp right at that Inferno Tower. He doesn't want that uh, single target Inferno locking onto these dragons and taking care of them. So there it goes. Hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're playing your racing game still, eh? Yes. I am. So this, uh, this uh, air defense might have posed a little bit of problem there, but that final balloon sort of gets on over, and then the dragon was there to back it up. So uh, as you can see, three stars is looking good for Erickson. Very sexy, my friend. My first, uh, I haven't watched a, at least, a, I guess, a good base, a, a dragon hit yet, 10v10. So very nice, very nice. Uh, next on the block is Mixa. He's hanging out on stream with me all night uh, on Friday and chatting with him for a while. It's good to good to talk to him. He was uh, he was an OG from back in the day. Uh, he was the same as me though. I think he took a break for a little while. Ended up coming back, uh, but he's been back for a while now and absolutely smashed it. So same idea here is uh, that attack we saw from Neon. Uh, gonna go with a Queen Walk. Gonna go with sort of a Witch Bowler combo on the other side of the funnel with another healer. I think he brings one less healer for them though. Uh, goes ahead and sends the siege right up from six o'clock. Bowlers on either side, King in with a few more witches backing it up. Sort of uh, once he got these buildings out of the way, 
this little V at the bottom six kind of creates this natural funnel into the base. So uh, free spell goes down, it's gonna give everything time to get in on top of that Inferno Tower. Down goes the Inferno Tower. Uh, balloon is poisoned, so it is gonna get taken care of in a moment. Uh, fortunately, all those uh, witches do lock on a the Hound, but no big deal. Raid spell goes down. Heal spell goes down. Things are looking good. It's gotta get a jump spell down, I think, over this balcony. <laughs> Uh, jump spell goes down. There you go. Unlocking this sort of back end compartment. Queen is going to be just fine coming around the bend at three o'clock here. Or maybe not. Yeah, she's got her ability still. <clears throat> you see this one healer just can't quite keep up to keep the keep the witches going. So no big deal. But uh, that's sort of the difference when you bring two healers for your witch uh, witch bowler combo versus one. One kind of just just gets them gets them there, but two will actually allow them to to continue on. So the hound does burst finally. You can see some of the troops have uh, sort of dissipated in the middle here, and uh, it doesn't really matter because there's nothing left in the base. There's nothing left that this queen cannot target. Queen still has her ability intact, still has all her healers intact, uh, and things are looking pretty good at this point. So final few witches go down, but the queen's going to mop up the rest of this base. No problem. Bam, 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 bam. Treat in the bag for my man Mixa. I hate when the queen does that. She could walk around the corner and shoot the arch tower, but she goes through the wall instead. Always lovely. For what it is, I think the vision on her was like five spaces. So if something's six spaces, even though it's targetable, she'll try and go through the wall instead. At least I think that's how the AI works, but oop, I'm going the wrong way. <clears throat> All right, so Danny Boy going in on number 11. Nice little uh, gobo... Uh, attack here so sends in the uh, shattered golems basically three o'clock and down more at the uh, uh, four four thirty section goes ahead and creates the funnel gets the siege tank in I always call it a siege tank why are you giving me that oh, we'll put it on the table please <laughs> oh my daily life I love it um anyways I was just saying I call it siege tank all the time I played so much Starcraft too so it just, and for some reason, it, it doesn't even really look like it, but it reminds me of a siege tank. So I call it a siege tank, but whatever. The siege. Anyways, it's busted in there. King is now hit his ability. Uh, four heal spells he's brought for these hawks. So he really just wants that. You're going to see, again, creating this V-shaped path for his troops because uh, this huge sort of dead zone right there um, basically means he knows his hogs are going to go into this compartment with the Inferno Tower. And there's only one more. They're going to go right to 9 o'clock. That's the only space for them to go. And then they're going to go straight up to 12 o'clock. Very easy, predictable pathing. So he knows where he's going to be able to get these heal spell downs. Another one's going to go down, obviously, over the bomb tower and over the wizard tower. Keeping the hogs going. Still has the queen in there doing work, backing things up as well. Has a couple minis already doing cleanup at 6 o'clock. So things are looking good there. Just has the one more heal. He's going to drop here with the giant bomb. Looking good. Perfect, Dan. A couple more defenses and some cleanup. <clears throat> Tons of hogs left. Really nice attack, my friend. Beautiful. Boom. So she's done. Awesome. Uh, what's next? It's a dance scorp. I just missed this one live. Scorpion helped me sort of get uh, some of my stuff uh, set up for my stream. And um, I had just, uh, I was just sort of trying to figure it out. And we had, I think, three uh, 10v10 three stars in a row that I missed. So that was kind of unfortunate. And you can see the little monkey here poking in and out. She loves watching her, uh, her YouTube stuff and she loves her gaming. So it's only a matter of time before uh, she's doing uh, co manning these recaps with me. Anywho, so um, Scorp's going to go ahead straight up from 6 o'clock, gets a jump spell in, nice little funnel going, kind of a tight funnel, especially because of this defensive king. You see how it pulled his heroes off to the side here? Didn't really want that. Okay, simmer down, all right? All right? 
Um, so his, uh, his king goes for a walk. I don't think he wanted that. Luckily, his queen went back in and take care of the dragon because that was really important. Uh, he doesn't want the dragon running around following his hogs, or that would have been GG for sure. Uh, does have the Valks uh, come out of the siege, so that's pretty good. Queen jumps in there, finishes off the expo, finishes off the arch tower, and guess what? We got a V-shape pattern going up from 3 to 12 and back down to 9. Perfect pathing for the hogs with three heals. He's going to go ahead, get a heal spell down right over top of this wizard tower, I believe. Yep, there it is. Tons of hogs. Just sends in the whole brigade there. He's going to have to get another heal down. I believe sort of bomb tower, wizard tower here. There it goes. Yep. And then he's going to save one more heal for this back end uh, inferno tower slash uh, wizard tower department. And he's looking good at this point. I think his hogs do. There's a nice, really nice spring trap there. So that's always like the downfall of hogs. A um, couple nice spring traps and automatic, all of a sudden, boom, he's down six hogs, right? So his DPS really dropped. The hogs split a little bit. So it does get a little bit dicey here at this point, even though that heal spell is down, keeping them going. He has just enough, though. I think there's four, maybe five hogs in there. Just enough to take care of business. Nice job, Scorp. We really needed this restart. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Damn. Mm. That bomb at the end there, though. <laughs> Scary stuff. Uh, all right. A new car or what? I'm ordering the cars. Oh, got a bear in the car. Jeez. He's going to be an awesome little gamer. He's already so he's playing Diablo. Clicking through, he'll set her up for a rift. She'll complete the whole rift. Um, it's only a matter of time. I mean, she's sick, so try and limit it for now. But like I said, before you know what, she's going to be the one making videos. <laughs> uh, so this is Erickson's other attack. Another guy with a six-pack here. And a uh, very similar uh, dragon attack. So <clears throat> does the Zack Quake over here? I don't think he quite gets the Inferno Tower. No. You're going to see the other lightning go down. It just misses it, I believe. In the yeah, Squeaky is in the picture. I see my whole family's here. Squeaky, Lily, looking good. Anyhow, sliver of health on this Inferno Tower, but same idea. You're going to see the dragon, baby dragon go down, create the funnel on this side, drop the balloon in there. Kind of clever as well. I like that. While the baby D is tanking, gets the uh, balloon in there to take care of business on the Arch Tower, which is basically going to leave... Uh, the uh, baby D free reign to take care of these high hit point storages. Uh, so goes ahead, suicides the heroes in from 12 o'clock. Going to go ahead and basically create the funnel again here and see the dragons come in. Now the funnel's created. There's this like sort of linear path he's going to see right to the core for the dragons, which is kind of nice. And it's all defenses too. So the dragons are basically only going to be beating on defenses, which is really key as well. Uh, brings a, has a free spell, has a rage spell, so goes, goes ahead and drops the rage right off top of that defensive queen, and the clan castle comes out. Boom, that baby D goes down, and he's got a couple balloons in. Here comes the blimp into this last little section. Now, because these air defense and inferno are so close to each other, you see the haste spell going on here too, I think? Yeah, there it is. <clears throat> and the freeze. Probably didn't even need the freeze there, because really those max loons over top those two very bunched up air D with the inferno tower, they were gonna go down super quickly. He could have used the he could have used the haste spell more down here to get this wizard tower out of the way and push down to that archer tower. You're gonna see this Tesla up here, lone Tesla take gets taken care of. No big deal. Still has three, four, four dragons up, tons of balloons, unburst, ooh, unburst lava hound. Absolutely smashes this base with dragons. Nice job, Erickson. Bam. That's right. Can you shoot the screen? <laughs> Boom. All right. Moving on up to number eight. <laughs> eight? Number eight? Can you go eight? Eight. All right. So Demon Engineer going in on number eight. Um, <clears throat> another little bit of a lalo, but he brings uh, brings four healers with this. So he's going to walk his queen. You're going to see how this works. There it is. Uh, gonna I think he wants to walk 
up and into sort of these back end air defense, take care of this defensive queen at the same time. A lot of, uh, and, and the clan castle, sorry. So poison goes down to help things out. Looking good at this point. Down goes the defensive queen, clan castle taken care of, air defense one is down, so goes ahead and drops the king as well there. Uh, work on that town hall, and you see the early ace, which I kind of like, a giant in to help tank. Blimp goes in right on top of the uh, Inferno Tower. Bunch of balloons all over the place. Hound is in there. Looking good. Queen gets care takes care of that other back in air defense. Like, really, there is just so much in this base. Uh, so many balloons, and so like, it, this base is done. I wish I could count the balloon. One, two, three. I guess there's not that many left. Did lose quite a few to some traps up there and stuff. But, again, minions all over the base. Full health heroes. Queen ability still intact. Absolutely just crush that base demon. Nice job, buddy. Uh, yeah. Couple bullies there. Um, actually, I think it was number six. I think number six. I had that written down. Yeah, it's 11v11. So this is our first 11v11. I just want to make sure. So I think 10 was their top. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so... We got JC going in 11 v 11 here uh, with a 11 v 11 Lalo. I'm finding more and more our uh, our 11s are really uh, focusing on using this uh, Lalo. Like it a lot. Uh, go ahead and blimp right in. Pulls a CC. I think he was hoping to get these wizard towers out of the way. Maybe even the eagles. So because the sweeper pushed the balloons back, it's kind of unfortunate the way that worked out. It does take care of a couple arch towers and. The most important thing really was the air defense there, but uh, would have been nice if they had pushed forward, taken care of you, had the potential there to get maybe the eagle and definitely a couple wizard towers out of the way. So that would have been nice. But uh, just sticks with the plan. That's what JC does best. <clears throat> Gets the CC pulled out there. Dragon's out. Suicide Suicides his heroes in. <clears throat> queen's going to lock on to the dragon, take care of business. King is going to lock on to the defensive queen and slowly do some damage to her. <clears throat> so his queen's got to do some work because there's a Valk coming in. He's got the defensive queen still sitting there. Has to hit the ability so the Valk doesn't just walk up and shred her. But you're going to see, boom, all of it goes down. Nicely done. That was the important part there. Uh, still has the Grand Warden as well. He's not dropped. So he's going to drop an air, the, the Grand Warden targeted air and go ahead and uh, basically shield all these balloons, right? These uh, Wizard Tires are looking deadly. Certainly on the outside, you can see these haste push everything into this giant core. Daddy. Yep. Um, I did all demons, but it's not letting me play. Hmm. I'm not sure. What? I did all of them before, but now I'm trying. Parent zone. Weird. Yeah. Six. Oh, 30. Hmm. I don't know. Sorry about that, guys. Technical difficulty on the tablet beside me, but <laughs> if you've been watching, this uh, this Lalo has just now moved all the way around this base. Got this huge clump of balloons. He's got pups in there working on that archer tower already. The only thing left is this little Tesla, lone Tesla over there. Still has that Grand Warden ability too that he did not touch this whole attack. JC absolutely crushes this base. Obviously, it was a very low uh, tier Town Hall 11, but <laughs> just goes ahead and hits the Warden ability there for fun. Love it. Nice job, JC. We really need, you really need to land those 11 v 11s, I'm finding. Because um, at the end, at least with this breakdown we're using, you want to have at least three, if not four, 12 v 12 attempts at the end. Um, you know, might have to use a bit from your 12, but uh, if you have four, then you're looking pretty by the end. Uh, so these 11 v 11 hits are very important. You see Warble doing a very similar attack, but he brings a goal. Um, so in goes this, uh, cold blooded golem right, uh, right up at this town hall. He wants to break into this town hall compartment. He's going to end up getting pretty good value from this kill squad. He brings, uh, brings it kind of heavy. A few bowlers on our side, a couple wizards on our side gets, just has to work and get rid of this defensive king, but drops all three of his heroes. He's going to move in. He wants to pull the CC out. He wants to take care of this defensive queen. Raid spell goes down. Obviously get all the defenses along the way. Gets a Tesla out of the deal. Air defense. All that stuff. Jump spell goes down to open it up. Out comes that clan castle. 
uses a second rage, which is great because now the queen's going to step up, rip through that dragon in two seconds, <clears throat> and get pretty good value here. She steps up, takes care of another Tesla, takes care of the Archer Tower, takes care of, I believe, this Expo as well because that eagle is about to smash her. But yeah, down goes the Expo. Don't think he quite gets the eagle out of the way. Maybe he does actually. No, not quite, but does a little bit of damage. So really he's going to soften it up with his balloons. But hey, guess what we got? We got a beautiful V-shape going from 12 o'clock to 3 down to 6. Perfect pathing for the balloons. Hay spells in all over the place. Really just wants to make sure that core goes down. Still has a freeze and two more haze for this bottom side. Then he drops another one over this compartment here. Yep, there it goes. And another one down here. And believe ends up freezing this stuff. Oh, no, he already froze. I missed the freeze. Hey, I missed the freeze. What the heck? It was there. It was there. One of you guys saw it. I know someone saw it. I sure didn't see I it. Saw it. You saw it? Yeah. Uh, I highly doubt that you saw that while you're spinning around on your chair. But look at all these balloons Warble has still just absolutely smashed at this one. <clears throat> nicely, nicely done, my friend. I used to, back in the day, used to call it the Chocolate Supreme Attacks. Warb is the master of chocolate. Bam. So I think we had one or two more. Yeah, we only have one more 11v11, which is still pretty good. Uh, not a bad percentage on our 11v11s. We did have to use a handful of dips for the 10s. Um, so it did trickle down. We ended up having to use at least one 12v11. I think only one. Um, but here's QC. Love this girl. Uh, can't believe she is still playing. Obviously, she can't quit COC. Who really can quit COC? Uh, I know there's a lot of people that have, but, uh, you know, I needed that break. And it was so awesome coming back to the game and seeing the state of the game. And it actually feels different now. It feels balanced and it's just fun. So I don't know if it's a combination of the break, combination of the changes. I love these siege machines. They're absolutely, absolutely game changing. Uh, so you see, uh, QC gets a freeze down, pulls out the clan castle, rage goes down, poison goes down. We're going to take care of the clan castle troops. Kill squad is going to take care of this eagles uh, cannon. All this juicy stuff along the way is going to take care of that defensive queen. See you later, biatch. <clears throat> And looking good, down goes the defensive board structure. I think even gets this back end Inferno Tower as well. That queen's going to step up and start taking care of it. Bam, bam, bam. And in comes the Lalo. And again, hey, guess what? Nice little V-shape going from 9 up to 12 down to 3. So just going to go ahead and drop the balloons in all on the outer edge there. Defense after defense goes down. Two haste, one rage, and one heal for this whole back end. There's really not that many uh, defensive structures for that. So you're going to see uh, spells all the way down here. You know what's good? Heal over the wizard tower is always a good thing. Plus the rage on the back end. Probably honestly didn't even really need the rage, but may as well. Plus definitely did not need that haste. But why not? Down go the last couple of defenses. We just got a little bit of cleanup for like a bazillion balloons and all this stuff. Still have bowlers doing work around the base. A couple of wizards and minions looking good at this point. QC. This was actually, I believe, really close to the end of the war, this attack. Um, so really nice uh, coming up clutch there. All right. And I think all I got left to show you is this beast. I'm telling you, Predator is just unbelievable. Um, he loves th this same attack. I'm, I'm watching it over and over again. He's just dissecting these 12s using this little bit of a queen walk with a back end Lalo. <laughs> and he's absolutely crushing it. He's getting huge value. Hey. He's spinning himself. Um, now, I was watching this attack and see how he kind of creates the funnel over here. But... Um, it's, uh, it's not what the queen does. I think you wanted the queen to go up. I think you wanted the queen to take care of, uh, all this stuff. Lily, it's not nice to interrupt. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so when the queen walks down around six, I know I asked him in, in game, like, so did you shit your pants? He's like, yeah, I, I literally did. I literally did crap my pants. And, uh, Ends up just deciding to readjust his attack on the fly here and uses this little alleyway. Um, if anyone used to watch my old videos, I don't care what um, 
I don't care what town hall level you are, I've never been a fan of these open alleyways through your base because you can abuse them and you're going to see how this works out. This siege makes it all the way to the town hall. And the queen's in there doing work, still has her healers going, ends up taking care of these cans. You're going to see the, the bowlers get in under the rage, smash down that town hall. He was telling me as soon as he saw the town hall go down, he's like, I got it. And again, a uh, huge reason why he's got it. This uh, eagle cannon goes down. And you're going to see just this little V-shape again. Sort of uh, has a couple of more defenses in the core, but it doesn't matter. Queen and Warden are going to step up and help out. And he's going to go ahead and haste. Get all these balloons in over basically this uh, 12 to 3 section. Take care of that. And there's only one spot for them to go. And it's going to be down from 12 down to 9. Finish things off. There's only one more air defense here he's got to take care of. But I think even the Queen steps up and takes care of it. No, Queen goes down. For some reason, I thought the queen stepped up and took care of that air defense, but it doesn't matter. It gets a balloon on it just in time. Has just enough balloons to take care of the rest of these defenses. Boom. Got to get that wizard tower down. That's the biggest threat now at this point. Down it goes. Cannon, mortar to go. Pops all over the base. Beautiful. Clutch 12v12 from this man, Predator. He is man or is he a machine? I don't really know. So, fantastic war. Uh... You know, we had, I think there's maybe 15 minutes left in the war and Predator had just uh, done that as uh, our last attack. And in fact, if we look at the war events, well, I guess Damien did sort of go for it again, even though Predator, I'm surprised. Oh, because Damien had already, uh, already hit number two. So he didn't really have, it was sort of, we had this extra attack that we didn't even need. Because uh, with 34 minutes left, Predator secured this uh, 12v12 for us. And it was just a matter of waiting for us. So then they jumped in. They got this uh, 12v11 bully on Warble to get that extra star. And then it was basically we were waiting, 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 waiting. Because we knew they were coming. They had they had each had a uh, town hall 12 attack left. And um, we waited and... Five minutes to go, boom, the 12v12, 98% just near miss. Uh, and then the, the other 12v12, 91%, not quite as close, but this 98%, everyone's like, oh. Because if they had hit this one, they could have went 12v11. Uh, number two did not need to go 12v12, but um, they needed this. They needed one of the 12v12s to bully and tie and probably win our percentage off the tie. So um, fortunate that they missed that and really this attack didn't matter. So may as well uh, salute you, Bluto, for uh, doing a 12v12 and may as well go out in style. Uh, but thank you for the War USA Adults. Fantastic win, Hive. Uh, really, really impressed with you guys. Uh, you know, I've been friendly challenging like crazy. I'm trying to find what my favorite attacks are. Um, and I'm just having a lot of fun. So uh, good to see you guys just rocking it like this. Hopefully I'll be able to get in there sometime with you. Uh, once uh, kick a little more of the rust off my uh, <laughs> off my uh, wheels here. But uh, obviously uh, you guys don't need it because looking good at this point. I loved our, uh, which I knew it or I should have looked up what our 10v10 hit rate was though. But we, uh, we did really well. I was really impressed the whole war watching these guys uh, do their thing. So um yeah, I think uh, that'll pretty much do it because someone wants me to spin her and we're actually going to go swimming this afternoon before I have to go to work tonight. Are we going to go swimming? Swimming. You ready to go swimming? Yeah, I think she is. So that'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser, guys. Until next time, I'm out.